Hey guys, wanted to bring your attention to a couple of things here. Um, one of the things is this new copyright rule from the US that rules that AI art cannot be copyrighted because according to them, there is no human, not enough human touch to make it a viable copyright candidate. So basically, you can only copyright according to the US Copyright Office, you can only copyright something when there's enough human input. So they consider that AI is almost entirely machine made, machine creativi creativity. And in that case, well, you know, you cannot copyright it. Um, I personally think that it's not the best thing to come out of there. Uh, it's not the best idea to, you know, to treat AI art like basically like it's not art at all like it has nothing to do with the with the creator I believe it does um, it's true that most of the time a lot of the creativity of the of the image would come from the AI itself but very often the human touch and the human curation has a great effect I mean when we're when we're trying to design a, a certain image, it starts with our own idea, with our own concept. And then we get uh, some help from the AI in terms of it, where the AI can sometimes propose something that we didn't think about or show us a certain uh, detail that we didn't think of. But in the end, it's us who end up choosing the image and and changing the image reiterating the image so many different times that in the end it's pretty much our image i mean why are not n no two images alike if you're picking an image out of a group of a hundred thousand images even if you had nothing to do with it in terms of creating even if you didn't even prompt it it's still an image you chose it's it still has your curation involved your choice involved there so I think that should be weighed in by itself on top of that when you are affecting the image by giving by by giving your own creative input in terms of which words you use where you want things placed and now with with things like control control net and stable diffusion where you can specifically choose certain angles, uh, certain movements, uh, the number of number of subjects, I mean. Uh, you can pretty much control so much of the image, the lighting, so many different things. So I don't see how they can rule that it has too little of a human input. Some do, I agree. But in a lot of cases, there's a lot of input from from the user look at so many different pictures that were done with control net recently and i'm sure that new developments are going to give even more control to the user so we'll be able to input so many different things within the, the within the picture that it'll end up being extremely unique to our taste to our choices to our experience to our to the way we view things i mean i know it's a meme but photography when you take a picture of of a sunset is from a specific angle with specific lighting you didn't create the sunset you didn't create the image that's in front of the camera right but you chose the angle you chose the moment you chose the inspiration you chose what the image could convey to whoever is looking at it because it conveys something to you and we humans at the end of the day are not extremely different one from the other so whatever the image is conveying to you is probably something it will convey to others and if something touches you and and you're it uh, you're able to capture a certain aspect of it and share it i believe that credit should be due and the way that this was ruled really removes uh all credit from from the author which I I really believe that there is authorship definitely
um, especially since these rulings are very hard to change to revert even though AI as we know is expanding so quickly is developing so quickly and it's giving us a lot more it there's a lot less randomness and a lot more control to us in terms of all the things we can do with it and it ends up being closer to Photoshop than just you know a random seat a random phrase that you type and you get a, or a piece of art and then call it yours but now with all this these developments these developments that are coming on a weekly basis be it for the new adobe software uh, be it for control net be it for all the extra tools that midjourney v5 gives us i mean all these things really put a lot of tools in our hands which help us determine the output of the picture so there's a lot of authorship and there's a lot more coming so to block it from now at this early stage and call everything that is produced by AI or helped with AI non art and and you know not being able to to copyright what you created is a real bummer it's a real bummer and it's very short-sighted luckily uh, the laws are quite different than the rest of the world a lot of the rest of the world do not need uh, do not have the same view of human authorship they do incorporate the help of of these tools because at the end of the day AI is just a tool just like Photoshop is a tool just like a camera is a tool these are all tools for you to produce something now sure some people could take you know throw the camera in the air press a button and then you know they get some kind of picture a uh, random picture but it's still there. It was still their idea to thro throw it in the air and, and, you know, set the timer at uh, one second to snap whatever uh, it's going to snap. I mean, you may like it or hate it, whatever comes out of it, but they can still, you know, copyright that. So I'm, I'm against this, completely against this. Now, in other news, um, I found this wonderful Instruct Nerve to Nerve. It's an editing software that takes uh, 3D scenes and where you can prompt things to change about the 3D scene. So we're not just changing a 2D image, adding and removing from it, like in, in image to image. We're actually doing it with a 3D picture in real time. This is some examples of what it can do. You can see other examples here on the page um, where this is just a regular video taken with a drone and then we'll be able to say you know type in change change to autumn make it autumn and it turns to autumn make it a desert uh, make it midnight make it snowy make it stormy sunny you get the idea or sunset so i found this really amazing uh you could change somebody and we can see this ending up in, in videos right so you'll be able to take a video it's like AR almost but much more powerful since it can change the subject completely it can make a metal it can you know as you see here operation is coming soon so I'm gonna leave a, a link to to Nerf Studios in in the in the description so you guys can follow up and perhaps try it as soon as it's out I certainly will I certainly will